All right, so today we're going to be chatting about how to create a custom contact form on your Showit website directly through Showit. If you have seen any of my previous videos, I showed you how to connect a Dubsado form or any sort of outside contact form through your website, but this is going to be how to create your own custom form in Showit itself. Okay, so let's create a new canvas here. I've got mine ready, and then we're just going to start creating. So let's do some text in here. And this is obviously not going to be the cutest contact form we've got, but I'm going to work, try to work through this as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know why I said front name. <laughs> First name. But there. And let's do maybe last name over here. And let's do business name. Business name, maybe years in business. Service you're interested in. And then maybe like, tell me more about your project. And you can obviously create as many questions as you want, um, but I'm just doing this, you know, super basic for right now. So I'm gonna create these text boxes to be larger so that um, this is the space that people can have to actually write in. Okay, and then I'm going to make this a little bit, add some more spacing in here. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit nicer, so I'm going to add in some lines here, maybe, for each. For each thing that I want them to fill out. Maybe put that like down there. Okay, and then I'll probably just clean these boxes up a little bit. Like this, so I don't go over the line. Okay, and then I'm going to center align all of this stuff. Like personally, I'd probably you know make things a little bit nicer by thinning out these lines and whatnot. But for the sake of this training, we're just going to keep this how it is. Okay. So now you're gonna go into each of these text items that you have here and go to text properties and click enable input. And for this first name one here, we're gonna make this required and then we're gonna label this first name. And then that's all we're doing with this one. For the last name, we're gonna enable input required or if you don't, I guess most people don't want the last name to be required, but you at least want the first name there. And then I'm gonna label it last name. And then for business name, enable input required business name. Years in business, enable input required years. Something like that. And then service you're interested in enable input required. And then I might do the in subject check here so that when I get the email sent to me in the subject line, it says brand designer, it says website design, something like that. Service, and then I'm gonna label that. And then for tell me more about your project, I'm gonna enable this. I'm going to require it as well. And then put maybe info there um and then i'm also gonna i just realized i forgot this i need to add an email column as well so this is mandatory because you want to know who you need to email back so i'm gonna add this up here and 
if you don't have this column there, then you're not going to know how to contact this person. So you at least want either your email or a phone number listed here. And so for email address here, I'm going to put text properties, enable input, required for sure. And then I'm going to put reply to. So this is important to have this check marked so that you know who you can reply to. So when you get the email in there, you can just hit reply back and it will auto fill the email address for you. And then I'm going to add a button down here. So let's do a rectangle and some text. Center that, okay. And then for, um, we're gonna leave this as is right now. I'm gonna add a click action in a minute, but we need to add a canvas view. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff into canvas view number one. And then I'm going to add another canvas view. And canvas view number two is going to give a thank you message to somebody who had submitted the inquiry. So I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle here and say, thank you for reaching out to me. I will get back to you within 24 hours. If you have any additional questions for me, please email me at blah, 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 dot com. Okay, and then I'm going to center this and center the text. And that's what Canvas View number two will look like. So I'm going to go back to Canvas View number one to do the button. So I'm going to go to click actions and then I'm going to click canvas, this canvas, canvas view two, and then submit contact form. And that's going to submit everything in here to the contact form. And that is all you have to do. Super quick and easy. A note that I want to make is you can't do drop down options in the show at contact form. So if you wanted to have a drop down here for what service they're interested in, brand design, web design, it's not currently possible with the show at contact form. So you have to have people type it out. Um, let's see what this looks like though. So you guys can get a little preview here. So first name, Michelle. Parker, you know, whatever, Gmail. Test, 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 test. And then we're going to submit the inquiry. And this is what it's going to look like when they submit it. So everything looks like it's working perfectly fine. And then you will get that email in your inbox that somebody submitted your inquiry. But that's pretty much it. This is how you create a generic simple form. If you want something more complicated that does have the drop down buttons, then you might want to check into Dubsado. That's my favorite service. And it allows you to create any sort of custom forms that you want. And all you would have to do is embed the code into this page and it will allow you to put the form on here. And then you'll get all of that information in Dubsado. Um, I have a discount code that I will put below in the caption of this video. It's one of my favorite services that I use in my business and it's, it's great. So anyways, let me know if this video was helpful. Please subscribe if you want to get some more tips and tricks about show it, branding, website tips in general. See you next time.